Hey, this is Molly and welcome back to my YouTube channel as we take a look at the Leo new moon happening on August 8th, 2021 at 9.50 a.m. That's Eastern time. So be sure and adjust for your location on the planet. Now, this is happening at the 88 Lionsgate portal. And I do have a separate podcast video for you describing more about the energies and why this is such a potent time and why this is such a powerful Leo new moon. So the new moon is happening at 16 degrees of Leo. And this is the point you want to find in your natal chart where you have 16 degrees of Leo. I do have a separate video for you that's titled how to find a degree point in your chart that will help you identify where this is happening for you and which house the energy is showing up. So when we have a new moon, it's when the sun and the moon are together, conjunct, beginning a new cycle together and setting new intentions. It is a beginning point. Every new moon is also the ending or completion of a cycle from the previous new moon. So this is completing the energies that were started during that Cancer new moon. Now we're having a Leo new moon and it is quite energizing and it's quite dynamic. So this energy in Leo is all about your sense of self, your creative expression, what makes you come alive, how you're developing more confidence to be yourself. Now, the sun is strongest in Leo since it is the energy it rules. So we have very bright, shining energy here, lighting up your sense of self, what makes you feel powerful, and where you feel compelled to do something that really calls to you, that has a sense of this is me. And in this particular new moon, you might feel that very strongly because this is an energy where there's been an authentic version of ourselves coming out throughout 2021. And this Leo energy is actually helping to balance out some of the very strong Aquarius energy we've been working with throughout this year. So this energy is on the opposite side of your chart from where the planets in Aquarius have been traveling. And it's a bit like coming back into yourself, into what is true for you, what is inspiring, what is exciting. There's even a sense of motivation, a sense of what lights you up, where you're here to shine brightly and own it. So this is an energy where you're going to have opportunities to develop more confidence in yourself. Now, the Mercury in Leo energy is widely conjunct. I'm going to say it's conjunct uh, just because it's, it's close enough. And it's the energy of what you're thinking about, what you've been thinking about, communicating the perceptions we have that remind us of who we are, what we need to say and express, what matters to you right now. And this Mercury in Leo energy can be very strong mentally. However, what I'm noticing the most in this chart is that there's a lot of fixed signs. There's a lot of fixed energy here where there's meant to be something stabilizing and this Leo energy, this focus on the Leo planets could be showing you what you want based on your own terms, based on your sense of this is what I've come to understand about myself. This is what I am connecting with that's about who I am now. It's not about others, other people. This new moon is bringing you back into your sense of your sense of self, but I feel it at the solar plexus, which is a sense of personal power, personal will, um, where you feel that energy really lighting you up. So the Leo focus here is calling you back into yourself. 
And as I mentioned, we've had strong Aquarius energies throughout this year. The energies here, uh, we have this Saturn at nine degrees of Aquarius retrograde that's going back to cover previous territory and turf um, that it was in earlier this year. It's in a wide opposition to the sun and the moon, meaning before this new moon, in fact, about a week before the new moon is when the sun was opposing the Saturn directly. And that opposition would have been a checking in point, a potential stop, pause, wait. And this new moon is now showing you what you want. I feel like a week before the new moon, there was something or there is something that comes up here that gives you pause, that asks you to check in with yourself and to call the energy back to you. And this is to, again, make sure that what you're choosing and what you're doing is in alignment with your life path, your soul growth, and your highest and best possible choices right now. Keep in mind, this is happening on August 8th, the Lion's Gate portal, which is always an opening into higher timelines. And I feel like that is one of the main themes of this new moon, is that we have the potential to go higher based on your own strength, confidence, and power, based on your own knowingness of self, and how you have invested in yourself, and what that is revealing to you about the life you want to create. So there is a bigger picture energy here that's been exposed and revealed through the strong Aquarius energies of this year. Now Jupiter is back in Aquarius and will retrograde back to 22 degrees of Aquarius and showing us more of these Aquarian ideals and energies that we are being supported with in this year particularly. And it's showing us more about community, friendships, uh, the people we interact with, the people we need in our lives who are on the same page. It's revealing more about who you are as an individual, your individual skills, gifts, and talents. It's showing you more of who you are. So we have this conversation going on between the Aquarius energies throughout this year, and then here is Leo season bringing you back into your sense of self and asking you to really honor where you want to go next. Now, both the sun and the moon at 16 degrees are in a square to Uranus at 14 degrees of Taurus, 44 minutes, almost 15 degrees. And yet this Uranus is going slow as it prepares to station retrograde in August. So the square of this dynamic electrifying energy to the sun and the moon is always an unexpected development. Something surprises us. Maybe it feels like a blind side. Maybe it's an out of the blue. Maybe there's something that's accelerated here and it just has that wow factor. Uh, this energy can be chaos. It can be liberation. It can be, I have to trust what's right for me. I can't be held back. And this Uranus working with the new moon energies adds an unexpected flair and also shows you more of what you need and what you don't need. Now we have, let's see, is it six planets? Yep, six planets in the fixed signs. So Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Leo. Saturn, Jupiter in Aquarius. Uranus in Taurus. A lot of fixed energy that is breaking up. It's like cracking open. It's revealing what's inside, what's at the core, uh, where life has been stagnant or stuck there is the energy of the breaking it apart, breaking through, things opening. And that's been a theme throughout the year as we've been working with this Uranus 
in an ongoing square to Saturn, which will come back for the third and final time in December. So what we have here with this new moon is I'm getting the image of parts of the sun bursting open, like parts of what's been in the dark, what you haven't seen, what you haven't seen in yourself being revealed, being opened up through this new moon energy because there's something cracking open at a personal level within yourself, within your own consciousness, within your own understanding of who you are. And you've been working with it throughout this year already. So it's almost like this Leo energy is now in play, has entered the chat, um, is very strong here in what has been the ongoing dialogue between this Uranus and Saturn. And now the Leo energy is like, well, what do I want? What is right for me? What do I need? What is best for where I'm going, where I don't compromise, I don't hold back? And there's something here about anything you've been resisting, anything you've been not wanting to look at or notice, acknowledge, or see, this Leo is requiring the recognition of a truth. Recognizing something that a part of your consciousness has known because that Aquarius energy is the knowingness. Maybe it's been out there, like something, you know, on the back burner or off in the distance or something that you're, you've seen it, you've seen glimpses of it. It's come in close and then it's disappeared. It's sort of like there's been something coming into our consciousness that has been growing in its power and intensity. And then I feel like this is a Leo new moon where it's just bam, in your face. It's right there where you're feeling it, whether that's feeling it in the solar plexus, but it's at a personal level now here because the Leo energy makes it personal. It's about self-acknowledgement, self-recognition. What have you not been seeing in yourself? Because Uranus, the awakener, is saying it's time to notice this, to see it, Almost like no more playing games, no more ignoring it, no more uh, maybe playing small, no more holding back. Something has to break through and give. And this is the new moon where it's time. And it's in this house, wherever you have the 16 degrees of Leo, this house is where the full ownership and full revelation arrives in your own consciousness. But again, it could be something that you've already been made aware of throughout this year, but now it's becoming um, more integrated and it's really landing. It's landing somewhere in your consciousness and it feels quite big and quite significant. So because this also coincides with that 8-8 Lionsgate portal, I feel like, again, this is an opening and, and I'm just seeing the sun. You know how the sun, it's a very active energy. The sun is bursting all the time with solar flares and coronal mass ejections and all this action and life. And it's huge. It's this huge, bright, warm, hot, beaming energy. And that's kind of what's opening up here. There's something opening up within you that hasn't been recognized, hasn't been seen, and now's the time. And it's happening at higher consciousness levels, but it's also happening through something that's very direct, um, very clear. I mean, maybe it's a certain communication here with this Mercury and Leo. Um, keep in mind, we also have Mars in Virgo, Venus in Virgo, uh, which relate to the body and how energy is moving through you at this time, how you're tending and caring for your body, um, what's going on for you physically. You could be feeling this energy as being very dynamic, like, like you have to move. You're just feeling it pulse through you, and it needs to move through you. 
I, I do feel something around a birthing energy here. And maybe that's what I'm picking up on in terms of the sun bursting open with these new flares, these new energies coming through. And it feels like there's something significant here with this new moon. Now, keep in mind that this new moon is going to go around and we're going to have another, a second Aquarius full moon at 29 degrees of Aquarius. It will be conjunct Jupiter. So in two weeks, August 22nd is when that second Aquarius full moon happens. The next two weeks, big energies, big revelations, big understandings, um, the sense of what you need to follow, what you're ready to trust, what you're moving towards, the path ahead. Uh, that Aquarius energy is always the future, the vision, where you're going next. And it is a switch in timelines. So I feel like there's something about August that is very special, very dynamic and energizing. It has the energy of something landing, like something opening up, being revealed, something coming forward, something being shown to you, and then it comes through or it manifests somehow. Um, part of this is the strong earth energy with this Mars and Venus in Virgo. And this, this energy has been working with Uranus in, in Taurus. This will always pick up the pace. There's an acceleration with this energy. I'm just feeling like there's a lot happening in August. <laughs> there's just a lot moving. And if you've been in your head, Aquarius, if you've been in your head about things, it's really going to be felt in the body. This is movement. There's a lot of movement here. Now keep in mind too, uh, the sun and the moon in Leo are also trining this Chiron at 12 degrees, Aries retrograde. Throughout this year, there are parts of our self-identity that are coming forward that we've never met before. Um, there's new ways that we've had to do something on our own, to be our own leader, to have new courage, to just follow a new path or a new part of your energy that's correct for you. This can be in small ways or big ways. Definitely depends on how that Chiron and Aries is working for you. It's revealing more of who you are, what you need, and how you're here to be an individual. And it's receiving that burst of energy from the sun and the moon in Leo. These are fire signs. There's a lot of action, inspiration. Um, there's spiritual growth. That's part of the fire signs is that they are inspired and motivated to grow, to put things into action and to go for it. There's a go for it energy here with this new moon. And it's coming up in a way that is requiring action. So again, for all the ways the Aquarius energy has been about thinking, dreaming, idealizing, pondering, considering, well, the opposite sign of Leo is complementary in that now it's time to put ideas into action. Now it's time to do something about it. And maybe this is really when you're ready. You know, you're really ready for whatever that might be for you, whether that's a new dream, a new step forward, something that has been, again, only in your head and now you're ready to go for it. I, I just feel like there's not much standing still here. There's a lot more movement and there's something where you could feel ready. You could feel genuinely ready for what's next and where you're going. Now, keep in mind that Venus in Virgo here is approaching and in an exact opposition to Neptune, 22 degrees of Pisces retrograde. And there could be something 
that you are surrendering, you're letting go of. Uh, this Virgo is very exact. She has clear standards. Uh, she has the way that she likes things done. But this energy is saying, let go of expectations and stay open. Stay open to what you think the how might be. And that is one of the energies that the Virgo and Pisces relationship involves is how is this going to come together? How is this going to happen? How do the pieces fit? And, and when they have any kind of opposition to a planet in Pisces, they have to let go of the specifics, let go of knowing the details. Um, and, and this is something where you manage expectations and you just stay open and say, okay, well, I thought it would happen this way, but it's not. So I'll just see what transpires and what else is possible. So keep in mind that there's energies here that we're, we're meant to trust where the body wants to go and, and what you're feeling energetically to carry this with you. See how these are all the personal planets right here? All the personal planets in Leo and in Virgo. Bringing you back into your body and your sense of self. This is where you're going to feel energized as you deal with things happening in the outside world and things that are beyond your control. So I hope this has helped you with these bigger energies of the Leo new moon. And I do go through all of the astrology of August in the August monthly soul growth astrology webinar program, where we talk about the transits for the whole month and how they're working with you in your chart. Um, so check out those details below as you can use coupon code Leo to get it all for 11 bucks. And in the meantime, just know that there's a lot here in August that's moving us forward. And you could feel like finally, finally something's giving way. Finally, there's movement. Finally, there is a productive development. So just be ready for it. Be open. And more importantly, be aware of your power. Be aware of who you are right now and what you need and what you're ready to experience in your life next uh, because there's a lot of energy here that's basically cracking us open. It's, it, it could be cracking open your heart, uh, cracking open your needs, cracking open more of who you are. And that's a beautiful thing. If, again, it feels like a birthing, like a, the kind of cracking open where it's birthing new parts of ourselves. And that might be a wonderful way to work with these energies and to harness them. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been beneficial as we move towards that Leo new moon. And I'll see you back here every Monday and Wednesday for my podcast. And please be sure and check out my YouTube playlists where I have tons of information about your astrology chart, learning how to understand more of your planets. I have a playlist on the asteroids and dwarf planets, uh, planets on different transits we experience throughout the decade. So much to check out. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back here really soon. And I hope you have a beautiful Leo season.